I've provided exercise files for you to use as you progress through this course. Let's take a look at how they're structured. Now, I've placed my exercise files folder here on the desktop to make it easy to access, but you're not required to do that. You can put them wherever you want on your computer, however you choose to work. So let's open the folder, and you'll see that inside the exercise files folder, there's folders that correspond to the various chapters of this course, as well as a file called examplesnippets.txt. Example snippets contains the code snippets I'm going to be using in the various examples throughout this course. Essentially, I'm going to copy and paste the code from the example snippets into each example to produce the finished result. The reason I'm doing this is because you don't have to sit there and watch me type each example. Now, example snippets will be included in your exercise files folder as well, so you can follow along with me and copy paste as we go through each example. All right, let's take a look at a specific example. You can see that in each folder for the corresponding chapter, there are files that correspond to the various lessons in that chapter. Let's take a look at a different one. Here's the one for chapter five. Now, in some cases, you'll notice that in some of the examples, I provided files that are named underscore start and underscore finished. In those particular examples, I'll be using the example snippets to copy and paste code to reach the finished point. However, if you want to go ahead and jump forward and look at the finished example without having to go through the exercise, that's perfectly fine too. However you want to use the exercise files is up to you. All right, let's get started.